the test is in four part, part 1, part 2, part 3, and part 4. Now look at part 1. Part 1 You will hear a man phoning a woman about an advertisement he has seen in the paper for some furniture. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 5. as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 5. Hello? Oh, hello. I'm ringing about the advertisement in yesterday's newspaper, the one for the bookcases. Can you tell me if they're still available? We've sold one, but we still have two available. Right. Um, can you tell me a bit about them? Sure. Um, what do you want to know? Well, I'm looking for something to fit in my study. So, well, I'm not too worried about the height, but the width's quite important. Can you tell me how wide each of them is? They're both exactly the same size. Let me see. I've got the details written down somewhere. Yes. So they're both 75 centimetres wide and 180 centimetres high. OK, fine. That should fit in OK. And I don't want anything that looks too severe. Not made of metal, for example. I was really looking for something made of wood. That's all right. They are, both of them. So are they both the same price as well? No, the first bookcase is quite a bit cheaper. It's just £15. Pounds. We paid £60 for it just five years ago, so it's very good value. It's in perfectly good condition. Well, they're both in very good condition, in fact. But the first one isn't the same quality as the other one. It's a good sturdy bookcase. It used to be in my son's room, but it could do with a fresh coat of paint. Oh, it's painted? Yes, it's cream at present. But as I say, you could easily change that if you wanted. To fit in with your colour scheme. Yes, I'd probably paint it white if I got it. Let's see, what else? How many shelves has it got? Six. Two of them are fixed, and the other four are adjustable, so you can shift them up and down according to the sizes of your books. Right, fine. Well, that certainly sounds like a possibility. Before you hear the rest of the conversation, you have some time to look at questions 6 to 10. Now listen and answer questions 6 to 10. But the second one's a lovely bookcase too. That's not painted, it's just the natural wood colour, dark brown. It was my grandmother's, and I think she bought it sometime in the 1930s. So I'd say it must be getting on for 80 years old. So it's very good quality. They don't make them like that nowadays. And you said it's the same dimensions as the first one? Yes, and it's got the six shelves, but it also has a cupboard at the bottom that's really useful for keeping odds and ends in. Right. Oh, and I nearly forgot to say, the other thing about it is it's got glass doors, so the books are all kept out of the dust. So it's really good value for the money. I'm really sorry to be selling it, but we just don't have the room for it. Hmm. So what are you asking for that one? Ninety-five pounds. It's quite a bit more, but it's a lovely piece of furniture. A real heirloom. Yes. All the same, it's a lot more than I wanted to pay. I didn't really want to go above 30 or 40. Anyway, the first one sounds fine for what I need. Just as you like. So, is it all right if I come round and have a look this evening? 
Then, if it's okay, I can take it away with me. Of course. So you'll be coming by car, will you? I've got a friend with a van, so I'll get him to bring me round. If you can just give me the details of where you live. Sure. I'm Mrs. Blake. B L A K E. That's right. And the address is Forty One Oak Rise. That's in Stanton. Okay. So I'll be coming from the town centre. Can you give me an idea of where you are? Yes. You know the road that goes out towards the university. Yes. Well, you take that road, and you go on till you get to a roundabout. Go straight on, then Oak Rise is the first road to the right. Out towards the university, past the roundabout, first left. First right, and we're at the end of the road. Got it. So I'll be round at about seven, if that's all right. Oh, and my name's Connor. Connor Field. Fine. I'll see you then, Connor. Goodbye. Goodbye. That is the end of part one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turns to part two. Part two. You are going to hear a lecture given by a counselor. First, you have some time to look at questions eleven to fifteen. Now listen to the tape. And answer questions eleven to fifteen. Hi, I am your counselor for this year. Today we will visit the facilities available to you on our campus. As students, you should take advantage of everything you have available to you. How many of you like sports? Well, I hope most of you do, because our school has great sports facilities. We have an indoor gym with state-of-the-art equipment. First, I want to tell you about our basketball facilities. There are two basketball courts. Both are full court and open for student use. We offer basketball leagues that all students are invited to join. Just sign up with a team. Usually, there are games on the courts, but during league time, only the teams are allowed to use the courts. The basketball courts are open twenty-four hours a day. If you want a job, you can be a referee at the games. Next, I want to tell you about the tennis facilities. We have five tennis courts available for student use. The tennis courts are open every day, 8 a.m. until 10 in the evening. You should call ahead to reserve a court because they are very popular and can often be booked weeks in advance. There are rackets and balls available for rent at the front desk of the courts. There is an Olympic-sized swimming pool that is open for students and the general public. There are also showers and locker rooms available. The swimming pool is open every day, 9 a.m. until 7 in the evening. There are openings for the position of lifeguards, so if you are looking for a job in the sun, this might be good for you. Now look at questions 16 to 20. Now listen to the tape and answer questions 16 to 20. There are also two weight rooms and a gymnastics room. The weight rooms have all the standard equipment available. Please check with the gym to see the open hours because they vary from time to time. The gymnastics room is usually not open for individual users because there are almost always classes held in the room. However, if you are interested, you may sign up for gymnastics classes. Plus, if you like martial arts and boxing, we offer classes for everyone, from beginners to advanced students. 
please check the schedule for availability. There is everything available from Chinese wushu to Brazilian wrestling. I will talk for a brief moment about our library system. Our campus has three libraries available to undergraduate students. One additional graduate library and one faculty library. The libraries are open daily until midnight except for during testing periods when the libraries will be open 24 hours. Please look on a map to see where the libraries are located. All students with a valid ID can check out books with a maximum of 10 books at a time. Books can be checked out for a two-week period and then renewed for one month maximum. After that, there is a $1 fine per week that the book is overdue. I will repeat that. There is a hefty $1 fine per week. So it is a good idea to return books on time. If you lose a book, then you will have to repay the library for it, plus a fine. If you damage a book, most likely you will have to repay the value of the book. So please, enjoy the library facilities, but take care of the school's belongings. The library is also equipped with 200 computers for student use. They are all internet ready and available for use. You must sign up at the library for one hour time slots. You may sign up for up to three consecutive slots at a time. No one can use the computers without first signing in at the library. That is it for now. Thank you for your attention. That is the end of part two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part three. Part three. You will hear a conversation about shopping. Masahiro is an international student who has just arrived from Japan, and Anna and Will are doing some shopping with him. You have some time to read questions 21 to 26 first. Listen to the first part of the conversation now and answer questions 21 to 26. Here we are, guys. I'm going to stop by Bergner's first. I might just get lucky today. Who knows? Some of their dresses might be on sale. Bergner's? It's a fairly well-known department store. Sort of like Penny's. They've got some quality stuff. Do you want to check it out? Why not? I need to get something for Lisa's birthday. She's into name brands. Any suggestions? A Gucci handbag or a Calvin Klein t-shirt might be nice. Designer perfume is another option, which reminds me. I have a 15% discount coupon for learners and pennies. I hardly ever shop at learners. I'm not that big on women's clothing. I rarely shop at pennies. So go ahead and use the coupon if you can. Here they are. Thanks a lot, Will. That's really very thoughtful of you. My pleasure, ma'am. Oh, no. I was supposed to give Liz a buzz an hour ago. Hope I have a quarter. Need a nickel? Actually, I don't have anything but pennies in change. Does any of you have a dollar in change? Sorry, I don't. But I do have 35 cents on me. Will that be OK for the phone call? Great. I really appreciate it. I'll make it quick. Do you guys want to go ahead? Well, wait. Just don't forget us. I won't. Why don't we just meet here in 30 minutes? Sounds good. I guess I'll just look around. Can I help you, sir? No, thanks. I'm just looking. Well, just out of curiosity, how much is that necklace? $29.99. Really? My sister's birthday is tomorrow. She loves jewellery. I just wasn't sure I could afford it. You'll find that a lot of our stuff is amazingly affordable. Well, that's certainly nice to know. I'll take it. It's a good choice. I'm sure she'll love it. Let's hope so. Cash or charge, sir? Uh, charge, please. Do you accept Discoverer? Yes, we do. Great. That comes to thirty-one ninety-nine with tax. Please sign next to X. Do you need some help, sir? 
Well, I'm looking for. Let's see. I've forgotten the name again. It's used to make fresh coffee. A coffee maker. That's right. Well, we have a few in kitchenware, which is upstairs. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, there you are, Mashahiro. What did you get? Just a simple coffee maker. Good choice. And you will find anything interesting. A necklace for Stephanie's birthday. Lucky her. Did you get anything? Just a couple of silly earrings that I liked. I did a lot of window shopping. That can't hurt. True. Well, do you guys need anything else from this place? One last thing. Oh no, I've forgotten what you call it. Just describe it, and we'll probably figure out what it's called. It's a crystal container for flowers with long stems. I need to get one for my mum. Oh, a vase! That's it. They should have a bunch in giftware. Let's go to get one. I'm going to have to stop by Jewel on my way home. Is that okay with you guys? I'm almost completely out of groceries. No problems. I could pick up a couple of things too. Look at questions twenty-seven to thirty. Now you will hear the rest of the conversation. As you listen, answer questions number twenty-seven to thirty. Hi, Mashahiro. How's it going? Fine, I guess. How about you? Busy. Guess who's coming our way? Hi, guys. What's up? Nothing much. We just ran into each other. That's nice. So, Mashahiro, how's the coffee maker working? Actually, it doesn't work well. It was a waste of money. I guess I should have shopped around for a good one. Why don't you take it back? I'd like to, but I've misplaced the receipt. Well, if it's any consolation, my shopping wasn't all that great either. I wish I'd never bought Stephanie a necklace. Just last night, she was telling me how she wished she had Liz Taylor's new perfume. She did not like my gift at all. That makes three displeased shoppers. Guess what? The camera I bought and shipped to Mike just this morning is now on sale. It's a pity that I bought it then. Then again, I guess I shouldn't complain. It was a good buy, even though I didn't get the best deal on it. Anyway, Mashahiro, I suggest you look for that receipt and just go to the complaints department and say I'd like to exchange this, please. It's as simple as that. And Will, it's not too late for you to ask for a refund. That is the end of part three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now it turns to part four. Part four. You are going to hear a conversation between two students. They are talking about the English bars. As you listen, complete the notes below. First, you have some time to look at questions thirty-one to forty. Now listen carefully and answer questions thirty-one to forty. Kevin, could you tell me something about the bars? I have never been to a bar. You see, Steve, my classmate, has invited me to go to a bar tonight. I see. You know, the word bar means a room in a pub. We say the bar when we mean the part of that room where drinks are kept. Soon after you go into the pub. You'll realize that nobody comes to the tables to take orders or money. Instead, customers go to the bar to buy their drinks. I see. People will go to the bar directly to get their drinks and don't wait for someone to come to take their orders. That's right. People don't queue at the bar, but they do wait till it's their turn. 
Oh, how do I pay? I mean, do I pay directly after I get the drink, or do I have to wait till I'm ready to leave, like I do in a restaurant? It's not the custom to pay for all your drinks when you're ready to leave. Instead, you pay at the bar each time you get drinks. It helps if you're ready to pay as soon as you're served, and you'll notice that many people wait with their money in their hands. I see. Do I have to give a tip? No, it's not the custom to give a tip. It's very common for friends to buy their drinks together in round. This means that each person takes a turn to buy drinks for everybody in the group. It's faster and easier, both for you and for the person serving, if drinks are bought in this way. Naturally, you don't have to have a drink in each round if you don't want one. That's interesting. When you're looking for somewhere to sit, remember that people have to leave their seats to get drinks, etc. So an empty seat may not, in fact, be available to you. If you're not sure whether a seat is free, ask someone sitting near it. When it's time for another drink, people usually take their glasses back to the bar to be filled again. If you're leaving, the friendly thing to do is to take your glasses back to the bar, thank the person who's been serving you, and say goodbye or good night. Thank you, Kevin. This helps me a lot. By the way, what kinds of drinks are available in pubs? Well, you can get both alcoholic and non-alcoholic. Beside alcoholic drinks such as beer and wine, there is cider, which is made from apples, usually sold in bottles. Port, a type of thick sweet wine from Portugal, sherry, which is a type of wine from Spain, and spirits. These are a kind of strong alcoholic drinks such as whiskey and brandy. What about non-alcoholic? I don't drink alcohol. Well. They offer all kinds of fruit juices, such as orange and tomato. These drinks are usually sold in small bottles, and soft drinks we often call sweet drinks like Coke and Fanta. They are normally sold in small bottles or cans, and lemonade, which is a clear and sweet drink made with carbonated water. They also serve cordials. What are cordials? Cordials are strong and sweet drinks tasting of fruit. Such as lime cordial, black currant cordial, they are often added to other drinks or drunk with water. I don't like sweet drinks. Are there any other non-alcoholic drinks? Yes, mineral water, but it's not available in all pubs. Kevin, one more question: What is VAT? I saw this on most goods in Britain. Well, VAT stands for Value Added Tax. The price shown on most goods in Britain includes a tax of fifteen percent. If you use the retail export scheme, this tax can be returned to you if you take the goods with you when you leave Britain. You may have to spend a certain sum of money before you qualify for the scheme, and you'll have to show your passport. Ask in the shop if they operate the retail export scheme. If they do. The shop assistant will explain how you can get the tax back and fill in a form with you. VAT is also charged on hotel, restaurant bills, theater, cinema tickets, and car hire. Are these refundable? No, it's not refundable in these cases. Thank you very much. I really learned a lot. That is the end of part four. You now have half a minute to check your answers.